Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be breaking down another large storm that's on the horizon. That's not the one we're going to see this weekend. It's actually going to be happening early next week. And this thing is going to bring a ton of problems, including the threat of severe weather that will lead to a few strong tornadoes in parts of the United States. We'll also be watching for the threat of a winter storm that will be impacting the central plains through the Midwest. And it also might impact the Ohio Valley in the Northeast. And we'll also be talking about an Arctic blast that'll impact the United States by mid-January. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast. And let's begin with what's happening across the United States right now. And we'll begin with that large storm that is currently centered over Missouri and as well as Kansas. And this low pressure system is the one that'll be bringing a winter storm to the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic as we go into tomorrow and Sunday. Right now, it's centered again over Missouri. This will continue to move slowly to the east and it'll start to speed up as it gets closer to New England. But it, right, right now what it's doing is bringing showers and storms along the Mississippi Valley. There's actually a low threat for severe weather along the Gulf Coast and as well as in Florida tonight into tomorrow. So keep that in mind. Some isolated damaging winds might send some trampolines flying in those areas. But over in the Northeast and as well as the Mid-Atlantic region, we're watching for some ice accumulation potential across areas like North Carolina, Western and Southern parts of Virginia and as well as back through southern Pennsylvania, and as well as the snow threat of upwards of 6 to 12 inches of snow spanning from Pennsylvania and New York back into New England. Now, I'm not really going to be talking about this particular winter storm that much in this forecast, so if you want the full breakdown on everything that you need to know about this storm, make sure to check out the video that I posted this morning that has all the details for that particular storm. Now, behind this large storm is going to be another storm, and this one's actually going to be larger than the one we're currently dealing with, even though this one looks huge to begin with. We're actually going to have a larger storm come out of the Pacific Ocean late this weekend, and that's what's going to bring a lot more potential for some very heavy snowfall, severe weather, strong tornado threat, and all that sort of stuff. So that's what we're really going to be focusing on in this forecast. Speaking of this large storm, let's jump into the future radar and give you an idea of what will be happening over the next several days with both winter storms that we're talking about. So beginning with tomorrow, we will be watching showers and storms across the southeast. Some snowfall will continue across areas in the Ohio Valley. Overall, pretty light stuff unless you're in very far southeastern Ohio. That'll be the only area that really picks up some meaningful accumulation. Once we go into Saturday evening, that snow will continue to move into the northeast. Some ice will be possible in parts of western Virginia and North Carolina during the morning. That'll clear out as we go into the late afternoon and evening hours, translating to snow in the northeast. Heavy snow will move into areas like Pennsylvania and as well as southern and central New England as we go into late Saturday night into Sunday morning. A little bit of light snowfall possible around the Great Lakes as we go throughout the day Saturday into Sunday and once we go into Monday that system moves out and then we're going to be talking about this very large storm that'll grow very quickly in the southern and central plains so notice this is Monday morning around six o'clock notice there's a high pressure system on the east coast of the United States pretty dominant overall but it's not going to be really sitting there for very long it's actually going to be moving along quite quickly now our low pressure system is going to be centered over the Texas Panhandle and the Oklahoma Panhandle on Monday morning notice there's already going to be some snow falling across the Rocky Mountains mountains, New Mexico, back into areas like South Dakota, Nebraska, maybe even Southwest Minnesota. We'll get on in a little bit of some snowfall, but it's overall going to pretty much be scattered. It's not going to be a widespread threat. Showers and storms will be ongoing across Oklahoma, back into parts of Southern and Central Texas. Once we go into the afternoon hours, though, that is when things become quite interesting because we have multiple different components to this storm. The first of which will be the severe weather threat. Right now, there is a slight risk of severe weather right along the Gulf coast from southeast Texas back into areas like Louisiana, southern Mississippi and Alabama, and as well as back through the Florida Panhandle for Monday. Then into Tuesday, we have a threat of severe weather across areas like Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, and I'll be talking about this more in detail here in a few minutes. But again, notice all the showers and storms will be ongoing down there. The flip side of this storm will be the snow threat, that winter storm potential, and the snow will be falling in the Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma Panhandle, Kansas, as well as back into Nebraska, Iowa, and perhaps even into Minnesota. Minnesota. That'll be the area that we're watching for, for some moderate to heavy snowfall. And then once we go into Monday evening and into the overnight hours, that winter storm will grow in size from the Midwest back into the Southern Plains. I wouldn't even rule out some snow flurries in far northern parts of North Texas. It's not out of the question with this large-scale storm and all the cold air advection that'll be plowing from behind it. But notice again, a lot of snowfall stretching from the Midwest back into the Central and Southern Plains. Severe weather will be ongoing in the Southeast United States throughout the evening into the overnight hours hours. 
once we go to Tuesday morning that snow spreads across areas around the Great Lakes including Michigan and as well as far northern parts of the Ohio Valley now right now the European model thinks that the heaviest of the snowfall will be focused across areas in northern Illinois southern Wisconsin back into Missouri and Michigan those will be the four states in my opinion to watch the closest for because I do think the heaviest of the snowfall will fall there and if the wind speeds are high enough we even could get some blizzard conditions if there is enough snow falling on the ground now as we go into Tuesday night into Wednesday morning notice the storm grows in size continues to grow in size huge line of storms off the coast there might still be some thunderstorms in parts of southern Florida going into Tuesday evening but there'll be plenty of showers and storms across the east coast so might be possible in the New England area but again we're still a few days out things could change a little bit snow will start to wind down late Tuesday night across the Midwest and then the storm races off to the north and east as we go throughout the day Wednesday and then once we go into the weekend again there might be another winter storm behind all of this which again we're in El Nino things are going to get pretty crazy and this will be something to watch for as well but I have to say winter is officially here we're going to have a lot more of these storms as we go throughout January into February so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and we'll keep you posted with the latest on all of these storms now a closer look at this winter storm going into Sunday into Monday so again notice Monday afternoon that's when the heaviest of the snowfall will be falling across Texas Oklahoma Kansas and Nebraska this will continue all throughout the day Monday night into Tuesday morning and as we go into late Tuesday morning into the afternoon hours that snow moves through Missouri so again this will last about 24 hours or so across areas in the central and southern plains the Midwest again will have a much better chance of seeing some heavy and meaningful snowfall this is Tuesday morning around six o'clock heavy snowfall possible across areas in Illinois back through Missouri and as well as in southeast parts of Iowa once we go into Tuesday afternoon that snow continues the heaviest of the snow for Illinois and as well as southern Wisconsin will likely be during the late afternoon Tuesday so keep that in mind if you have any travel plans once we go into Wednesday morning that snow continues to move to the north and east impacting Michigan but overall very light snow will remain Wednesday morning and this all moves out as we go into Wednesday afternoon if you're wondering about your chance of seeing greater than one inch of snowfall in the central plains right now going into Tuesday it's actually a pretty solid chance right now with the European model showing a hundred percent chance across eastern Nebraska for example but areas further down to the south like Oklahoma it varies it goes anywhere from literally zero percent in southeast parts of Oklahoma upwards of 80 to 90 percent in the Oklahoma panhandle this is where things get a little bit more interesting though is where will we see greater than four inches of snow this will cause more travel impacts obviously heavier snowfall going on the roadways that can cause a lot of impacts notice right now the European model indicating there's a solid 40 to 50 percent chance across central Kansas into northeast Kansas back into western Iowa for the time frame basically of Monday night to Tuesday morning better chance going into Missouri about 40 to 50 percent maybe upwards of 65 percent in eastern parts of Missouri as we go into Tuesday so that'll be the area to watch for again that's the probabilities for right now this is the GFS model the ensemble giving us an idea of what the probabilities are on this model and it shows a much higher chance upwards of 80 to 90 percent across areas like Kansas and back into southeast Nebraska so what this is basically telling you is that there is some uncertainty still of how much snow we'll see and exactly where that heaviest of the snowfall will fall but you at least get the idea that there's a pretty centralized area of where we'll be seeing at least an inch of snowfall that's basically what I'm getting at here here's what the European model thinks though in terms of snowfall accumulation there's a good chance for upwards of four to eight inches of snow across Kansas even northern Missouri back into eastern Nebraska and western Iowa notice Oklahoma it's a bit of a wild card area where you might get nothing and you also might get upwards of eight inches of snow depending on where you are in the state it's a completely different story so that's what we're looking at at least in terms of the estimates there back into the Midwest a bit of a different story in terms of the probabilities notice upwards of a 60 to 70 percent chance of seeing greater than four inches of snow in Illinois keep this in mind yesterday on the European ensemble it was actually near a 90 percent chance so the chances have dropped off a little bit so keep that in mind not necessarily a guarantee you'll see a four inches of snow or greater but definitely a good chance at least it's at least a 75 percent chance back into Michigan as well around a 60 to 70 percent chance there this is what the GFS model is showing in terms of the probabilities and again notice not really anything too different from the European model in this case similar probabilities the only area that's a bit different is Michigan but again these details will get sorted out as we get closer so stay tuned and again make sure you're subscribed to the channel European model thinks that we'll see a good amount of snowfall up here again four to eight inches of snow isolated 10 to 12 inches possible in central and northern Illinois and then back into Michigan this is a bit of a question mark still and obviously every area is still a question mark because things can still shift and change very easily since we're
since we're still about four days out. But obviously, Illinois and as well as Michigan will be the two areas to watch for for the heaviest of the snowfall out of this event. Let's talk a bit more about that severe weather potential out of this storm. And we'll begin with what's happening on Monday. There is a slight risk of severe weather from southeast Texas back into areas in the Florida Panhandle. Right now, the main concern will be damaging winds and a few tornadoes, and a few of those could even be strong. So that is a concern as we go into Monday. Same thing with Tuesday. We have another threat of severe weather with damaging winds being a concern and as well as the threat for a few tornadoes. And again, a couple of those tornadoes could be strong in the southeast United States, including Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Southeast Alabama. Now, why is that? Well, the low-level jet will be cranking with this particular storm as we go into Monday night. Notice again, the low-level jet around 50, 60, even 70 knots right along the Gulf Coast. And that gives you an idea, by the way, of the rotation of the supercells. Gives you a bit more of that idea. Once we go to Tuesday uh, morning into the afternoon hours, it even gets crazier. We could be talking about a low-level jet upwards of 60 to 75 knots across a large area in South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, and North Carolina. So it's a pretty primed environment for tornadoes. And that's a big concern here. I would not be surprised if we had an enhanced risk of severe weather with both of these days. Here's the timing for now. Again, it's a little bit of a broad timing because again, we're still a few days out. But notice Monday afternoon around three o'clock showers and storms across Louisiana right along the Gulf Coast. The ones that are a bit more concerning will be the ones that are coming right off the coast going inland. So right along the Gulf Coast. Again, that's where the greatest threat will be. The supercells that are rotating obviously will produce the tornado threat. Once we go into Tuesday, the threat of severe weather will be a bit more of a linear threat so damaging winds being more concerning but there will be some embedded tornadoes in this line of storms as we go into tuesday afternoon so if you're in north carolina south carolina georgia or florida make sure you have a tornado action plan in place because again tornadoes definitely seem like a possibility now we will be talking about this more in an upcoming forecast because there are just so many things happening i only can make these forecasts so long but there is an arctic blast that is coming as we go into late this upcoming week and as well as into the weekend that'll be the time frame to watch for very high likelihood of below average temperatures for much of the United States. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and we will keep you posted with the latest on this upcoming Arctic Blast.